Welcome, please be seated. Faculty, you may take off your mortarboards. Wipe the sweat off. Students, you may take your blazers off, but if you have to come to the stage for an award or a prize, please put it back on before coming up here. And if everyone would please make sure your electronic devices are silenced, thank you. Welcome to the 2022 Wilbraham and Munson Academy Prize Day Ceremony. My name is Brian Easler, and I am honored to be the head of this great school. Prize Day is the first formal part of our end of year events and marks the occasion with recognition of academic honors and awarding of some prizes. Our focus today is on the whole school, although you will see plenty of graduates receiving recognition up here today. Tomorrow, commencement, is all about the graduates, as it should be. My comments today are brief, consisting of one simple message to the graduates and one simple message to the rest of the student body. To the graduates, the next 48 hours will be a whirlwind. I encourage you to do your best to slow things down a bit. Take a few minutes, stop occasionally, take a breath, look around you, and really try to soak it all in. Right now, naturally, you're looking ahead. Your mind is already where you will be next. That's normal. Someday soon, however, and for the rest of your lives, you will be looking back on these moments and trying to remember details. So it's important to capture this celebratory and joyous time of your lives by absorbing as much as you can. To the rest of the students, look upon your friends in the graduating class and think about what you too can work toward if you do your best and stay focused on your goals. Take your example from the work these graduates have done, not the place of honor they have now achieved. You have a lot of work ahead of you, but we believe in you and we look forward to the years ahead, watching you make your own way to your place up on this stage. Relax and enjoy the feeling of the end of year momentum. Give your quiet attention to the presenters and the students who we will honor today. Through their hard work and their diligence, they have earned the, our respect and our admiration. We know this because you are all good students and you are all worthy of our praise. But these students have earned these special honors today. We will now begin today's events with the Dean of Academics and the Dean of Studies, Mr. Eric Kimbloom and Mr. Kevin Kane, and the awarding of the Barber Academic Awards. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Eric Kimbloom, Dean of Academics. This is Kevin Kane, Dean of Studies. It is now our honor to present the Evelyn Barber Department of Prizes and other significant academic awards to a number of students who have demonstrated the highest level of achievement over the course of this year. Members of the faculty award Barber Prizes to students for recognition of their exceptional work ethic, strong command of material, and genuine intellectual curiosity in each of these courses. In addition, departments will give several students major academic awards. Each prize is a commemorative medal. Before we honor these students, I would like to recognize the hard work, dedication, patience, passion, and compassion of our devoted faculty. Not only are they committed to being knowledgeable of the subjects that they teach, but they are also truly committed to working with students who are making the challenging transition from childhood to adulthood. I ask my colleagues on the faculty to stand before you. And parents, students, and friends of the Academy, please show your appreciation and gratitude for our fine faculty. <laughs> Clearly, teachers and students in collaboration create success in the classroom. 
So as we recognize each student, it is also our desire to recognize the faculty members who have worked diligently with these students all year. Therefore, I will ask the faculty members in each department to join us on the stage. Students should come up to the platform to receive their Barber Prizes and other significant awards when I call their names. I ask that if you come forward for a prize, to remain up here until, we've had until we have taken your photo so that we can forever remember this grand occasion. Will members of the Center for Entrepreneurship, Economics, and Finance Department please come forward? Gail Shaw, Eric Kinbloom, and Department Chair Jim Erzik. The Barber Prize for Excellence in Finance is awarded to Elias Domenic. The recipient of the Barber Prize for AP Economics is Jihan Emily Wu. The 2022 recipient of the Barber Prize for Entrepreneurship goes to Nikias Schoenstedt. Will members of the English and ESL departments please come forward? Tim Harrington, Michael Jura, Sue Jura, Bill Rosenbeck, Valerie Wallace, Jess Rowan, Kristen Casey, Amy Matheson, Kyla Haddock, English Department Chair Meg Hutchinson, and ESL Department Chair Ann Kinbloom. Receiving the Barber Prize for ESL Language and Literature is Yugan Yang. The Barber Prize for Grade 9 English is awarded to Emma Landry. Just going to change the order just a little bit. The George H. Heflon Memorial Award was established by members of the class of 1886 in memory of their loyal and efficient class secretary, the Reverend George Heflon. It is awarded annually to the student in the junior class who makes the best record in the study of English for the year. The recipient of the George H. Heflon Memorial Award is David Priquette. Receiving the Barber Prize for Grade 10 English is Sally Gagan.
The Barber Prize for Excellence in AP Senior English 12 is awarded to Jada Lee. The 2022 recipient of the Barber Prize for AP Capstone is Madiket Stoltz. The Howe S. Newell Senior English Award is presented by Wilbraham's Class of 1955 in honor of Mr. Howe S. Newell to the member of the graduating class who has improved the most in the study of English as judged by the English Department. The recipient of the Howe S. Newell Single, Sing, Senior English Award is Miguel Ojeda. In absentia. In absentia. Thank you, English Department. Will members of our fine and performing arts departments please come forward? Clark Seabolt, Jeremy Matheson, Marvina Lowry Brook, Stephen Lee Davis, and Department Chair Paul Bloomfield. The Barber Prize for Excellence in Visual Arts 2D Design is awarded to Hannah Jamal. The recipient for the Barber Prize for Music Vocals goes to Lilith Matheson. Receiving the Barber Prize for Music Chamber Ensemble is Jinyi Toby Liang. The 2022 Barber Prize for Music Jazz Ensemble goes to Shang James Chung. The Marilyn Erickson Memorial Prize was established by her family and friends in her memory. The award is given annually to a student who shows great promise in the visual and performing arts and who is likely to go on to a career in either of these areas. This year's recipient of the Marilyn Erickson Memorial Prize is Kaya Troy.
Thank you, Fine and Performing Arts Department. Will members of our History and Global Studies Department please come forward? Gary Cook, Michael Jura, Sue Jura, Summer Mahoney, Walter Swanson, Megan Cavanaugh, Jacob LaFiandra, and Department Chair Anthony Kandel. The Barber Prize for World History is awarded to Benjamin Prej. The recipient of the Barber Prize for AP Human Geography is Loretta Sish. The Barber Prize for Excellence in AP U.S. History is awarded to David Priquette. The 2022 recipient of the Barber Prize for AP World History is Michelle Itkin. Thank you, History and Global Studies Department. Will members of our mathematics department please come forward? John Lombard, Cora Gavin, Todd Renier, Karen Dufresne, Dana Housie, Reese Laviolette, and department chair Mark Fisher. The Barber Prize for Algebra is awarded to Breslin Grozio. Receiving the Barber Prize for Geometry is Madison Goodwin. The recipient of the Barber Prize for Precalculus -Pre is awarded to Chiara Cicciarillo. The prize, the Barber Prize for Excellence in AP Statistics is Isabel Wilson.
The recipient of the Barber Prize for AP Calculus AB is awarded to Ariel Cakley. The Barber Prize for AP Calculus BC is awarded to Cole Salvador. The Ernest J. Lawton Memorial Award was established by Munson's class of 1965. This award is given annually to the senior with the most outstanding record in mathematics. This year's recipient of the Ernest J. Lawton Memorial Award is Ji Han Angela Tian. In absentia. The Rensselaer Mathematics and Science Medal is awarded annually to a member of the junior class who has distinguished themselves in mathematics and science and demonstrates great potential for a career in science, engineering, or technology. This year's recipient of the Rensselaer Mathematics and Science Medal is Brady Gowan. Thank you, Mathematics Department. Will members of our Science Department please come forward? Charlie Devonzo, Erica Whipple, Luke Pelletier, Trevor Portlock, Kelsey Lewis, Jake Schechter, Jamie Gowan, Kyla Haddock, and Department Chair John Strauss. The Barber Prize for Excellence in Computer Science and Technology is awarded to Patrick Avilaocha. The recipient of the Barber Prize for STEM 9 is awarded to Noah Stitch. The Barber Prize for Biology is awarded to Jisung Choi. The 2022 Barber Prize in AP Biology is awarded to Isabel Wilson. The Barber Prize in Chemistry is awarded to Ariel Cakley.
Receiving the Barber Prize for AP Chemistry is Kwang David Nguyen. The Barber Prize for Physics is awarded to Julia Bessie. The Edward F. Morris Prize was established in 1914. This prize is presented annually to the student who has the highest grade for the year in physics. The, recip the recipient of the effort Edward F. Morris Prize is David Priquette. Receiving the Barber Prize for AP Environmental Science is Luca von Haute. The Bausch & Lomb Honorary Science Award is presented annually to the junior who has demonstrated academic excellence in science. The recipient of the 2022 Bausch & Lomb Honorary Science Award is Yuzuki Yamaoka. Thank you, Science Department. Will members of our World Language Department please come forward? Don Kelly, Kevin Kane, Brian Lautenschlager, Drew Shea, Jonathan Brook, Maridol Linares, and Department Chair Fabian Dubois. The recipient of the Barber Prize for Intermediate Latin is Luke Lombard. The Barber Prize for Advanced Latin is awarded to David Priquet. You're giving uh, Olympian Michael Phelps a run for his money here. The Barber Prize for Intermediate Spanish is awarded to Ayana Gonzalez.
The recipient of the 2022 Barber Prize for Advanced Spanish is Julia Cicchetti. Receiving the Barber Prize for Intermediate French is Emma Landry. In absentia. The 2022 Barber Prize for Advanced French is awarded to Tiana Gao. Catherine Ingram, a member of the class of 1975, requested that her parents establish a prize to honor excellence in the study of French. A French major at Worcester College prior to her death in 1979, Kathy asked that the award be made to a member of the graduating class at graduation. This year's recipient of the Catherine Ingram Award for Excellence in French is Jenna McCauley. Thank you, World Language Department. And thank you all faculty, members, and congratulations to all of our academic prize winners. One last round of applause, please. And now I would like to introduce Don Kelly, president of the Wilbraham and Munson Academy chapter of the Cum Laude Society. Thank you, Mr. Kimblum. I would ask the faculty members of the Wilbraham and Monson chapter of the Cum Laude Society to please come up on the platform and join me behind the tables. Likewise, I would ask the two students that were elected to Cum Laude last year as juniors, Michelle Itkin and Cole Salvador, to please join the faculty members. At this time, it's my pleasure and distinct honor to announce the names of the students who have been elected to the Cum Laude Society this year. The Cum Laude Society is an honor society which recognizes the academic excellence of students in independent schools. The articles of the Cum Laude Society state that each chapter may elect members of the college preparatory curriculum who have an honor record. The articles further stipulate that each chapter shall determine the nature of what an honor record is. Traditionally, the Wilbraham and Monson chapter of Cum Laude has only selected students from the top 20% of the junior or senior classes. Furthermore, we expect these students not only to have the highest grades, but also to have enrolled in a diversified range of courses taken mostly on the honors and advanced placement levels. The Board of Regents of the Cum Laude Society also assumes that chapters will elect to membership only students who have demonstrated good character, <clears throat> honor, and integrity in all aspects of school life. With these considerations in mind, the following students have been selected this year for induction into the Cum Laude Society. I would ask them to come forward and to stand in place in front of the tables here and to remain standing as their names as are called. Please hold your applause until the last name is called. Elected this year from the class of 2022, James Chang. 
Please hold your applause. Daniel Danucci. Kyle J. Filipowski. Matthew J. Filipowski. Jada June Lee. Luke O. Lombard. Jenna Elizabeth Estelle McCauley. Quang David Wynn. Isabella Sophia Vorino. Isabel Grace Wilson. Wei Wen William Zhu. And from the class of 2023, elected in their junior year, Brady Gowan and Madiket Stoltz. As the president of the Wilbraham and Munson chapter of the Cum Laude Society, I now address the following to the members elect. The distinguished record you have made at this school has won for you membership in the Cum Laude Society. The society is a fellowship of scholars whose purpose is to recognize excellence in academic work. As you pursue your education, it is our hope that you will accept the honor of your membership as a responsibility to make some contribution to humankind's ongoing search for greater understanding of our fellow human beings and of the society in which we live. In testimony of your admission to the Cum Laude Society, your certificates of membership and your Cum Laude pins are presented to you today. On behalf of the faculty members of the chapter, I congratulate you on these splendid achievements and wish you best of luck in all your future academic endeavors. Let's have one more round of applause, please. Thank you, cum laude selectees. You may now return to your seats. Ladies and gentlemen, I present our Director of Athletics, Mr. Don Nicholson. Good afternoon. I would like to now bring up Phil Shaw, Jr., Wolverham Academy, class of 1957, to help me with the presentation of his father's award. Philip H. Shaw Award. Named in honor of Philip H. Shaw, Wilbraham Academy, 1936 to 1969. Revered track and soccer coach and athletic director. His portrait and that of his wife, Florence J. Shaw, hang in a place of, in honor in our athletic center. The trophy reads, awarded to the student athlete who demonstrates outstanding performance and a desire to improve in athletics. This award is given to our top female and top male athlete from the junior and senior class by vote of the faculty. 
Mr. Shaw, I feel certain that your father would be very pleased with both of these choices. The Girls Phil Shaw Award winner is a member of the senior class. During her time at the academy, she has played a key role in the fortunes of our girls varsity soccer team and our girls varsity basketball team. Her soccer coach, Summer Mahoney, writes, Kara is a leader in both word and action. As one of our senior captains, her determination, her drive, and sense of humor, even in the face of challenge, inspired her teammates both at games and in practice. Coach Mahoney adds, she is a talented athlete, instinctual leader, and a kind friend. She will be greatly missed next year. Now to basketball. Kara's basketball coach, Darrell Brown, writes, Kara is a passionate player, loving teammate, and a curious student of the game. Coach Brown adds, Kara loves the challenge of hoops, the excitement of hoops. Kara loves the speed, intensity, and electricity of hoops. And basketball just fits her personality so much. Coach Brown also writes, it has been so much fun watching her learn herself, what makes herself tick, and to process it all to become the best teammate and player that she can be. And from her old soccer coach, me. <laughs> she is one of the reasons it was so tough for me to step down as, as the head soccer coach just two years ago, right after her sophomore year. Even now watching from the sidelines, I could not be more proud of this outstanding young woman that she has become. Good luck at Roger Williams next fall. A historical note, Kara's brother, Connor, won this award just last year. Murphy family, make more room on the trophy shelf as another Shaw Trophy is on the way. Var Sorry, almost done. <laughs> Varsity Soccer, Team Captain and Coaches Award winner. Varsity Basketball, Team Captain and Coaches Award winner. By vote of the faculty, the girls 2022 Philip H. Shaw Award winner, Kara Murphy. I commend Mr. Shaw for his uh, shows of strength lifting out these heavy awards. <laughs> the Boys Phil Shaw Award winner is also a member of the senior class. This outstanding student athlete played a key role for the varsity basketball team and the varsity baseball team. Devin's baseball coach, Jamie Gowan, states this about Devin. He is an exceptional young man. He is a remarkable athlete who demonstrates his determination to be the best he could be when faced with learning something new. Jamie continues with this, Devin never shied away from going out of his comfort zone and was determined to make his team and all of those around him better. Devin's basketball coach, Mike Mannix writes, coaches and teammates have come to know Devin as the player you can trust on the court to lead the team and to make winning plays and also who provides a voice of confidence and helps mentor younger players. Coach Mannix adds, Devin is only the second four-year varsity player to play on our team in the last two decades. He will be remembered as one of the players who helped create the program's culture of hard work in the classroom and on the court. Mike concludes with this. Princeton University has him spells a special young man that I think the world of and has become like a son to me. Boys basketball, team captain, first team, all NEPSAC, and a member of the 2020 New England Championship team. By vote of the faculty, the boys 2022 Philip H. Shaw Award winner is Devin Austin. The Trustees Cup. 
given to the school in 2008 by Edward Ned Sims, Wilbraham Academy, class of 1964. The idea of this award came from Ned Sims' desire to bring to our school an award similar to the one that he had seen at his alma mater, Dartmouth College. The inscription in the cup reads, awarded annually to the Academy varsity team, best achieving the ideals of interscholastic athletics. Here are the ideals and the requirements of the cup. A winning record is required as only team season records above 500 are considered. However, more consideration is given to those teams with stronger win-loss records. Academic achievement and honor roll distinctions. The overall team grade point average is calculated by the academic dean's office. Sportsmanship and team spirit determined through observation of practices, games, and daily campus life. Leadership and citizenship beyond athletics determined through specific examples of leadership, involvement, service within our community, and good citizenship evaluated by the Dean of Students Office. The Trustee Cup was not awarded last year due to the impact of the COVID pandemic. Even throughout the course of the school year, the lingering effects of the pandemic continue to disrupt the normal routines and plans of our teams. The Trustee Cup Committee realized that they needed to modify some award expectations regarding evaluating teams and to take outside interference into consideration as they reviewed the accomplishments of all of the qualifying teams. It was not an easy task, but certainly more fair. This year's winner is one of our girls varsity teams. This team was relatively small in numbers, but their impact on our athletic program and our school community was immense. This team's season record was eight wins and two losses. Impressive in itself, However, the story is much deeper than the strength of the competition record that they recorded. The girls on this team excelled on the track, in the field events, and within the community. Academically, the girls track and field team's current grade point average is 3.73. This excellence in the classroom would result in six girls achieving highest honors, nine girls achieving high honors, and five girls reaching the honors level this year. Their leadership on campus would also go beyond the shot track as they could count three global scholars, one gold key member, one club leader, and one equity team member within their ranks. As they approached the final weekend of the season, the hard work of the girls paid off as six of the 16 girls qualified for the New England Track and Field Championships at Gordon College, and they would achieve beyond all expectations for such a small group. Records aside, all you had to do was watch these girls in action each day to know that they are special. They exude team strength as they produced one dominant performance after another. However, and more importantly, they displayed outstanding team spirit and how they supported each other. You could just watch them as they cheered each other on and would run across this field to help their teammates get to the finish line. No matter the level of the girls' role in this team, each of them knew that the others were always there for them. The true meaning of the word team. This will be the first time that this girls team has been awarded the Trustees Cup. The 2021-2022 Trustees Cup winners, girls varsity track and field. If I could have the girls and coaches please come up. Thank you, Trustees Cup winners.
I would now like to introduce our Dean of Studies, Kevin Kane. Good afternoon. Um, the Davison Prize. This award was created by George W. Davison of the Wesleyan class of 1888 in memory of his parents, Robert and Emmeline Davison. It is awarded each year to the student who is to return to the academy, so therefore not a senior, the following year, and who has shown in his or her school relationships a marked capacity for leadership, cooperation, and thoughtful, helpful influence in the school. From the first time I met this student on a Zoom call to pick his classes two years ago in the midst of the pandemic, I was impressed. Once he came to campus and was in the dorm where I was a dorm parent, I continued to be impressed on how he handled himself and was a leader among his peers. Mr. Brown calls him one of his go-to guides in Gold Key, always ready to give a tour, and that his pride in our school is clearly evident to all. Mr. Gowan says of him, he is always being a voice of reason on Rich Three, helping and guiding new students and young students. He brings a positive energy to the floor. This year, he either orchestrated birthday parties for students that celebrated their first birthday away from home, or lent an ear to a friend that needed someone to listen to. He is always there for his classmates and friends. I have a personal note that during the ski trip this year, when I locked my keys in the car and it was five degrees outside, this student jumped in and helped me. So, a marked capacity for leadership, cooperation, and a helpful influence in school life. These are qualities that are also good descriptors for someone who might be a prefect, which he is. The winner of this year's Davison Prize is Georgie Mamladze. the Class of 1977 Humanitarian Award. This prize is given to the sophomore who best exemplifies the outstanding characteristics and devotion to duty of Masters Hugh M. Harrell, Roger N. Lincoln, Michael Olmsted, and Frederick D. Watts. Their understanding, concern for others, and love for Wilbraham and Munson Academy are to be found in the recipient of this award given by the Class of 1977. Anyone who has worked with the recipient of this award today always speaks with superlatives, the nicest, the most supportive, among the best. Both in the classroom and on the sports field, she has led by example and is genuinely kind and supportive to all around her. Anyone who has taught her or been in a class with her is impressed by her. While she maintains extremely high standards for herself, as her Latin teacher and advisor, Mr. Kelly says, she does not see this only as about herself, but sees her success as part of the team or the group's success. He adds that she volunteered to help one of his advisees with chem over the Christmas break. She also serves as a math tutor. Her track coach, Ms. Vardabedian, says, she has a way of not getting nervous before her events in track. She has such a good head on her shoulders. She always remains positive and upbeat. She stays upbeat and rational even if she's had a bad day always saying, whatever you need me to do, coach. Always pumping up her teammates, she never complains, and she works hard. The winner of this year's Class of 1977 award is Ariel Cakley. And now I'd like to introduce our Dean of Students, Liz Squindo. Good afternoon. 
The Barabee Prize is given each year by the parents of Kenneth A. Barabee, Munson class of 1961, to that student who best exemplifies the determination and dedication to duty of Kenneth A. Barabee. Kenneth was an outstanding student and worker at Munson Academy. After attending Brown University, he served as a Marine Corps captain until he was shot down by enemy gunfire in South Vietnam. He was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross for Heroism and Achievement, the Air Medal with 10 Gold Stars, the Purple Heart, the Vietnam Service Medal, the National Defense Medal, and the Vietnam Campaign Medal. The faculty has awarded this prize to a grade nine student, which is a rare occurrence. However, this student's contributions to our community this year were so impressive, we were compelled to award them this prize. Her teachers describe her as a deep thinker and explain that her participation is analytical and creative. She takes on leadership positions during group work and always manages to guide her peers in the right direction without giving away the answer or controlling the project. Her advisor writes, she goes through her day with a perfect balance of kindness, curiosity, humility, integrity, maturity, and humor. As a grade nine student, she has already become a go-to for so many. Whether it's assisting her peers with an assignment, offering a helping hand to her teachers, interviewing Mr. Easler for Atlas, leading drills at tennis, or guiding a tour for one of our prospective families, Emma's impressive work ethic and dedication to the task at hand is truly remarkable. So in addition to awarding her this year's Barabee Prize, I will also award her her English 9 award and her Intermediate French award. May we welcome Emma Landry to the stage, please. I would now like to introduce Gary Cook, one of our history department faculty members. Good afternoon. The John L. Nepomuceno Prize. The John L. Nepomuceno Prize is given in memory of John, who was a member of the class of 1988. John was tragically killed in the April of 1987. John had been an exceptional young man. He was an excellent scholar, a competitive athlete, and a class officer. He was a delightful boy with a wonderful sense of humor. To many, he was a special friend. To honor his memory, his fellow students established the John L. Nepomuceno Prize, which is to be awarded at our prize assembly each year to that member of the junior class who shares many of John's extraordinary qualities. One of his closest friends was my colleague, Michael Zurer from Ludlow. I was John's advisor and his teacher. And the recipient this year reminds me so much of John. He's truly a scholar, but he enjoys the process of learning. He loves to learn. He thinks learning should be fun. He makes it fun. And he understands that every day, if you put in the time and the effort, rewards will come at the end. And he's truly a very good student of history. He loves to be a part of a team. And he plays on three very different teams, but he enjoys going to practice, talks about his teammates, and occasionally I hear that his rugby coaches have to speak to him aside because he's having fun at rugby. And he's a class representative who loves this school and who loves his classmates. And he also really likes his peers. So as the school year was winding down and we were getting ready for a US history final exam, the young man came to me and said, I want to make a study sheet for my classmates. I considered it, but I thought that if he did that, some of them probably wouldn't do their own study sheet. So I said, no, I, I would prefer if you didn't do that. He looked at me, he nodded, and he did it anyway. <laughs> John would have done the same thing. By vote of the faculty, it is my pleasure to award the John L. Nepomuceno Prize for 2022 
to Ji Song Choi. Good afternoon. The Alumni Award is given to a member of the junior class who has demonstrated high scholastic achievement and service to the school. Brady Gowan is one of the top students in his class. He takes one of our most demanding schedules and is rewarded predominantly with A's for his exceptional work and was just recently awarded a moment ago. Brady is also friendly, personable, and bookends the WMA experience for many as he serves as a gold key tour admissions guide for those new to our school and tomorrow will serve as a junior marshal, guiding our seniors through the graduation ceremony on their last day at the academy. In addition to his academic accolades, Brady also has had to demonstrate endurance and resolve over the past couple of years, first having to live in a girl's dormitory, and second, continuing the unfortunate Gowan family tradition of tearing one's ACL, and then, with much work, coming back and competing out on the field. This combination of service, grit, and intellectual achievement is to be heralded, but it's also a surprise for most of us who expect faculty kids to grow, who grow up on campus to be kind of weird and always expecting free food. Uh, yet Brady thankfully doesn't fit this mold, nor any mold, and his sincerity, thoughtfulness, and record of academic success made this an easy decision for the faculty. This year's Alumni Award is given to Brady Gowan. Now our faculty marshal, Don Kelly. The trustee award. The trustee award is given annually to a young man or woman in a junior class who exemplifies excellence in scholarship and high character combined with achievements in other fields. This year's recipient of the trustee award was selected to be a junior class marshal for this year's Prize Day and graduation ceremonies based on her outstanding record as a scholar and student citizen. In my search to find appropriate remarks to honor her, I turned to that wise guru of the second floor of the Madden Science Building, Dr. John Strauss, and I quote Dr. Strauss. This is the third Bessie I have interacted with, and each version just keeps getting better. Bessie 3.0 is in my honors biology class, and in her section, she just clearly has the greatest command of the material. Due to her quiet, reserved, almost camouflage nature, I have no interesting anecdotes to share. But despite her quiet personality, I could not help but notice just how good she is." End of quote. Dr. Strauss, the faculty definitely agrees with you because by the vote of the faculty, the trustee award this year is presented to Bessie 3.0, AKA Julia Marie Bessie. Our head of school, Brian Easler. Thank you everyone for being here today. To end the ceremony, the platform party will recess first, followed by the faculty, and then the members of the graduating class. And at that time, once the members of the graduating class have exited, 
Everyone else can disperse and the ceremony will have ended. Thank you all and we'll see most of you tomorrow. <laughs>